morning I just woke up and it just came on me very strongly and um, I was trying to get ready to go for a walk. I thought I'm going to go for a walk and I'm going <laughs> to try to figure out what's happening for me and then before I got there I went on social something anyway. I, I got this verse and I'm going to read it to you because I think that it's It will shed some light on some things for some people, I think. <laughs> okay. So I've managed to compose myself, and um, now I'm going to read what I had read this morning that upset me to um, that extent. So here it is. We will keep their lives short and their minds weak while pretending to do the opposite. We will use our knowledge of science and technology in subtle ways so that they never see what is happening. We will use soft metals, aging accelerators and sedatives in food and water, as well as in the air. They will be covered in poisons wherever they turn. The soft metals will make them lose their minds. We will promise to find a cure from our many thumbs, and yet we will give them more poison. Chemical poisons will be absorbed through the skin of idiots who believe that certain hygiene and beauty products presented by great actors and musicians will be eternal youth to their faces and bodies and through their thirsty and hungry mouths we will destroy their minds and systems of internal organs. Reproduction. However, their children will be born as disabled and deformed and we will hide this information. The poisons will be hidden in everything around them, in what they drink, eat, breathe and wear. We have to be ingenious in distributing the poisons because they can see far. We'll teach them that poisons are good with funny pictures and musical tones on TV. Those who are looking for them will be helpful. We will will enroll them to push our poisons. They will see that our products are used in film and they will get used to them and they will never know their true effect. When they give birth, we will inject poisons into the blood of their children and convince them that we are helping them. We will start earlier when their minds are young and we will target their children with what children love most, sweet things. When their teeth decay, we will fill them with metals that kill their minds and steal their future. And when their ability to learn has been affected, we will create more drugs that will make them sicker and cause them other illnesses, for which we will create even more drugs. We will make them docile and weak before us by our power. They will grow depressed, slow and obese. And when they come for us to help, we will give them more poison. We will f focus our attention on money and material goods so they never connect with their inner self. We will distract them with fornication, external pleasures, so that they are never one with the unity of all. Their minds will belong to us and they will do as we say. And if they refuse, we will find ways to implement technologies that alters the mind in their lives. We will use fear as a weapon. We will establish their governments and we will establish opposition within them. We will own both sides. We will always hide our goal, but we will continue our plan. They will do the work for us and we will prosper from their toil. Our families will never mix with theirs and our blood, it must be pure because it is. We will make them kill each other when they oppose us. We will keep them separate from unity through dogma and religion and we will control all aspects of their lives and tell them what to think and how. We will guide them kindly and let them believe that they are guiding themselves. We will instigate animosity among them through our factions. When a light shines among them, we will extinguish it by mockery or death, whichever suits us. We will make them tear their hearts apart and kill their own children. We will accomplish this using hatred as our ally, anger as our friend. Hatred will completely blind them and they will never see that in their conflicts 
we will be their leaders. They will be killing each other. They will bathe in their own blood and kill their neighbours as long as we see that they are against us. We will benefit greatly from this, for they will not see us, for they cannot see us. We will continue to prosper from their wars and their deaths. We will repeat this until our ultimate goal is achieved. We will continue to make them live in fear and anger, and we will give them images and sounds. We will use all tools we have to achieve this. The tools will be provided by their work, and we will make them hate themselves and their neighbours. We will always hide the divine truth from them, that we are all one. That he must never know. They must never know that colour is an illusion. They must always believe that they are not equal. And drop by drop by drop by drop we will advance our goal. We will take over their lands and resources and wealth to exercise control over them. We will trick them into accepting laws that will steal the little freedom they have. We will set up money systems that will shut them down forever, keeping them and their children at debt. When we band them together, we will accuse them of murder and present a different story to the world because we own all media. We will use this media to control the flow of information and their feelings in our favour. When they rise up against us, we will crush them like insects because they are less than that. They will be helpless to do anything about it.